everyone welcome back we are learning to create a role center page step by step so in the previous video we have discussed about like how to create a navigation menu and navigation bar so if you missed that so please go and check that uh, check the previous video the thing is like this is the navigation menu okay so if you wanted to create this where you have to exactly write the code so that we have discussed okay so in order to create this we have a, a, a specific section called area section and this is a navigation bar if you want to create this you have to write it in the area embedding okay this is under area section and this is under area embedding so now in today's video we will be discussing about how to create a action bar so this is the action bar in this action bar you can see three types of actions which are added here so what are the three types of actions so this is the first type of action which is like creation okay like for example if you want to do if i click this it should open a um, new page like if you want to create a sales code it should open a new sales code creation page or else if you want to edit or as if you want to view okay so you can create something so this particular section we have to create it using area creation fine so this is for area creation and if you take this one okay so this is like a area processing okay this is to control the pages like if you are associated with any workflow of processing the documents such as the payments or the sales order you can group the control and display so this is for the area processing and finally this is for the reports okay area reporting so this is used to control the targeted report objects so this is the action um this is actually the action bar if you wanted to add this action bar in role center how you can add it that is what we are going to i'm going to show it here and this is a headline so we will discuss this headline in the next video so let us just go and see how we are going to create so this is what the action okay this is the creation action i have already created i'll just type uh, how we have to create and show it to you uh, so this is the previous um, thing which we have created the navigation uh, menu using the area section and the navigation bar using the area embedding and now we are supposed to create a area section that is the action bar so what you have to do just press enter okay inside what inside what you have to go inside the actions okay all these things should come inside the actions area section area embedding area creation everything should come inside the actions block so in said area creation we have to start with the action okay so what action we are supposed to create so i'm going to go with the is add sales order okay and once you have completed that you can just open and we have to give some uh, proper uh, properties okay like properties we are going to create so caption i'm just going to go with um, um sales order or add sales order okay and then which object i have to run okay i have to run the page sales order and i want to the i want to keep this as application area is equal to all and run page mode okay this is the important so if i click this particular sales order in which mode it has to open whether it has to create a new thing or edit the existing sales order or view the sales order so if you want to create it then you have to go with the create sales order if you want to edit it then go with the editing so and you can add multiple things accordingly like what you want add sales order then if you want to go with the um add sales invoice okay so and then add um action under the action you have to or you have to go with all these things so this is what creation okay we have to create this and um, yes so here i have already created i just want to show this sales order purchase order so this is what the action if you want to come uh, if you want to bring it under the area creation so the next thing what we we wanted to do is what the area um creation is done and then we have to uh, create a processing right that is area processing so we can go with area and just if you give the player space it will show you processing so what you are supposed to do under the area processing so you can again tell like um, how you wanted to display uh, this area processing you can just uh, uh, enter that here okay 
so let us give here action anyhow that two will come under actions okay Mm, invoice. I am just going with invoice. Okay, mm, sales invoice. Okay, and this is semicolon. We have to go with the semicolon, and then this is we are creating. Um, okay, sales invoice and application area is equal to all. If you want to go with something else, you know, like processing. If you want to create something else, you can go ahead. Um, caption. Okay. So sales invoice, okay. This also I'm just going to make it as sales invoice. Mm. Sales invoice process because this name is already there, so that is why it's showing the error. Okay. If you want to add more, you can just add it further. So I'm just going with only one that is a processing. I'm just stopping the processing here, and then if you wanted to add some reporting. then you can also add the reporting section let us see like where it is coming okay um okay then next one is area reporting okay and and the area reporting action sales invoice report and i just want to do open the report called sales invoice yeah so sales invoice and then i'm just stopping it here application area is equal to all and uh, you can just make it as image if you want to go with any image then you can just use it like report okay so image if you want to display some image here so we have created the action bars okay let us i'm just saving this and i want to execute this and see like how it works so you can see here as i told uh so this is your um, area creation and we have also created the area processing and the reports like this okay excel reports you can see here right so like this we are going to create it we have created this let us just press f5 control and f5 to see like how it works okay so you can see here that these three are the area creation so it shows like plus okay and i have made it as a create new we have to create it okay so once if you click here you know like it will open the new sales order okay so if you want to create a new sales order so it will open the creation page okay you can try uh, to alter the properties and check and this is what this is actually the area processing so if you just click here it will uh, it will act as a processing so you can see here okay and then if you just click on so and now if you just click on the sales invoice report so it will uh, ask you for the page like a pro, uh, like you have to create a page here okay like you can generate a report from here and this is what the image property which is used here okay so this is how you can create what i would suggest you is what you just try to go and change this create to something else like uh, you have three two more thing right like uh, edit and view so what it is happening you can just try to create it and see how it uh, it uh, creates the page okay and i hope you understand the concept here so we have uh, almost we have created a, a role center page with the um with the um navigation menu navigation bar and the action bar so in the next video we will see how to add the headlines and further we will try to create the full fledged role center page in the series so this is uh my um tech tutorial page so if you wanted to uh, buy any ebooks for you okay for technical functional this is al mastery this is for business central functional consultant question and answers interview questions this is for the freshers developers and 100 plus al programming techno functional functional consultants checklist and this is for tableau and power bi the manuals i have created so if you want any of these book on check that and this is my blog i'll be updating all these things whatever i'm discussing in the video i'll be updating in the blog as well as a written format so please follow my blog the link is in the description
um so this is my channel if you uh, haven't subscribed yet please go and subscribe now and see all the playlists which will be useful for you thank you take care and bye bye i'll see you soon in the next video